Jog's race to Alderney started to the west from a jog line on Friday evening in an east south easterly breeze of about 10 knots. Class 5 brought 10 boats to the line, with most starting right in shore to get out of the foul tide and pick up a bit of help from a counter eddy, but in less wind than those boats that started slightly further out. The 80 mile race took line honours winner Paddy Whack 11 and a half hours with Act of Defiance and Imperator following her home within a few minutes. On handicap though, Paddywhack dropped to fourth and corrected time honours went to blustery day. She beat Shadow by just over a minute on corrected time, with Moondog a similar distance astern in third. Moondog also took the double-handed prize in this class, ahead of Act of Defiance. Ten boats turned out in class four and most of these also started inshore. Despite running aground just after the start, just so led this fleet into Alderney in just under 10 hours, also taking the corrected time win by three minutes from second place only just. Third place belonged to Long Pierre, while Persephone of London took the double-handed prize. Half an hour after class four, it was the turn of class three, which saw 13 boats take the start. The quickest of these larger boats was Floating Voter, which took line honours in Alderney ahead of J-Fever and Tearaway too. The order changed on handicap though, with J-Fever taking the corrected time win, ahead of Arcsign and Tearaway too, while Floating Voter dropped to fourth. This race marked the halfway stage in Jog's season. The next event will be the La Havre race on Friday 26 of June. This weekend saw the Royal Thames Yacht Club hosting the fifth round of the Cow's Keelboat Solent series using the Royal London start line. The Daring's were first away on Saturday in a stiff 18 to 23 knot east south easterly and a foul tide. 15 boats came to the line and most chose to start close in shore to get out of the tide. They faced a long beat up the Shrape then across the tide to North Ride Middle before fetching across to Peel Bank on the island shore. Finesse managed to open up a good lead by the time they reached Peel Bank and turned for the downwind legs to Dax and Sunsail events. Jibing at Dax caused problems for many, especially the foredeck crews charged with doing battle with the spinnaker pole. More problems were to come for Defiant, as they nearly had a contretemps with not one, but two ships which were passing in the narrow channel as the Daring's raced across it. Finesse led the fleet home after a two and a half hour race, with Defender in second and Defiance third. Four Dragons came out to play and they were given a course of just two marks, with a signal that the race committee expected to hold a second race. Gabrielle Wilkinson Cox's Jerboa led off the line while Niord and Fanfare returned to restart. This fleet beat up the Shrape on their way to West Ride Middle before heading to Peel Bank and then back to the finish. By the time they reached Peel Bank, after first sailing to the wrong boy, Niord had recovered from her premature start and sailed through into a commanding lead. Second was Jerboa, with Supremacy and Fanfare close together at the back. Niord won this race from Jaboa, and in the second race of the day, Niord won again, with Fanfare second and Jaboa third. On Sunday, the wind was lighter and had swung to the south. With a strong ebb tide at the outer end of the start line, and a course that sent the boats across to the Bramble's bank, it was a tricky start on a shy spinnaker reach. In the Dragons, Jaboa led off the line, followed by Niord. This time, Jaboa was able to hold her lead off the line and she led the small fleet home after an hour and a half race with Newell taking second and Supremacy third. The Daring's had ten boats come to the line for their start on Sunday. Again, it was a difficult start, but Defiant had the best of it towards the outer end while a small bunch were also on the line further inshore. Dynamite won this race by 48 seconds from Audax 
In third, another minute or so astern was defiant. The X1 designs didn't show up on Saturday, but on Sunday three boats came to the line. With the tide making it hard to cross the line, it was over five minutes after the start before the first X-boat got across in the shifty and fluky wind under the island shore. Merlin won the race by over 12 minutes from Aora, while Curlew failed to finish. Join us next week for Rourke's de Guingamp Bowl and the next round of the Red Funnel Cows Keelboat Championship.